Hey DIYers, Jarrett with Alarm Grid here. Today we're gonna to be discussing where you would find the MAC address on the Honeywell L5210. Now for this video, unfortunately, we don't have uh, an L5210, so we are gonna show you uh, how to find the MAC address on the L7000. Now really, there's not much difference between the L5210 or the L7000. They basically are one and the same, especially in regards to programming. Uh, really, the only difference is just the size of the screen. The L5210 is a bit smaller, the L7000 is a bit larger. So now to really move on, uh, the MAC address for the L7000 or the L5210 is very important for the system, especially if you're when you're trying to get it set up with monitoring services. Um, in order for that company to be able to connect to that system instead of with the services, they do need the MAC address. Now, <clears throat> the MAC address is basically gonna be for the Honeywell L5100 Wi-Fi. Uh, that is the Wi-Fi card that is built or manufactured to allow the L5210 or the L7000 to connect your local Wi-Fi. Without it, the system will not be able to connect to your Wi-Fi at all. So <clears throat> once you have that um, Wi-Fi module, <clears throat> excuse me, once you have that Wi-Fi module, um, you will need to find that Mac, uh, MAC address. Now you're probably wondering what a MAC address is. Uh, the MAC address, it does stand for Media Access Control Address. Um, it is a 12 digit code uh, or a 12 digit set of numbers and letters that basically um, makes the system identifiable on the network. It is uh, used or it is for systems that work on IP communication. So the MAC address for this Wi-Fi module is very, very important to be able to identify it. Now, once you have that L5100 Wi-Fi module, you are able to see it um, on the sticker that's on the Wi-Fi module, but it is also very easy to find that MAC address in the programming of the system. Um, so now the only way to find the MAC address in the programming of the system is if you did have that Wi-Fi module installed. Uh, but now if you were trying to find the MAC address for that Wi-Fi module, you're just gonna follow these simple steps. So at the main screen, what you're gonna do is you're gonna press security. And then at the bottom right, you're gonna see an option for more. And then you're gonna to tap tools. It's gonna ask you for a code. So what you're gonna to wanna to type in is the installer code. The default installer code for the system is 4112. And when you're in here, you're gonna press program. Then you're gonna look on the right side for com diagnostics. You're gonna tap on that. And this is actually where you would normally configure the Wi-Fi to set it up uh, to the Wi-Fi, you know, input the password, find it, stuff like that, right? So um, at the, once you have input the Wi-Fi information, you do have it set up, uh, you will be able to see your Wi-Fi network at the bottom left with a couple of bars telling, showing you the signal strength. Um, so <clears throat> what you wanna do to find the MAC address is hit the down arrow, and you're going to see communication ID numbers. So you're gonna tap on that, and this will show you the MAC address. Um, so if you look right here, you have the uh, MAC address right here. We do have a cellular module installed, uh, so please disregard that, but you will be able to see that as well. But um, this is basically the MAC address and the CRC for the, uh, well, my apologies, this is actually the MAC address and the CRC for the Wi-Fi module. If you did have a cellular module installed too, you would be able to see the MAC address and the CRC for that cellular module as well. So <clears throat> once you have found that information, you have relayed it back to your um, alarm monitoring company, then what you wanna do is just hit the back arrow until you go all the way back to the main screen. And you're going to get this window every single time. Um, allow installer to re-enter programming. You're always going to choose yes. If you ever press no, you are gonna be locked out of programming. And that is how you find the MAC address on the Honeywell L5210. If you have any questions about the Honeywell L5210 or alarm systems in general, please contact us at support at alarmgrid.com or go to our website, alarmgrid.com. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. If you want notifications on future videos, please click the bell icon. This is Jet with Alarm Grid. You have yourself a great day.